In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the police CRP5 flight computer to calculate time. And we remember that using the very simple formula, time is equal to distance over speed. So we need two variables here, the distance and the speed. And there are three steps to calculate time using the CRP5. The first step is to align our 60 minute marker, which is this black triangle, and it says 60 minutes inside. We need to align that with the ground speed. The second step is we will move the cursor to whatever distance it is that we want to measure on the outer scale. And the third step would be to read off the time on the inner scale. Okay, that's the scale where we have the black triangle. So this scale would be the scale for time and the outer scale would be the scale for distance. Let's demonstrate this with an example. And in our example, we'll answer the question of how long will it take to fly 84 nautical miles if the ground speed is 140 knots? So step one is we're going to take our cursor and we're going to put it over the outer scale. So I'm going to take my 60 all the way up to 140 because that's my speed. My ground speed is 140. So I would cover 140 nautical miles in 60 minutes. And then I want to know how long will it take me to cover 84 nautical miles. So I'm going to take my cursor now and I'm going to look for 84, which is over here. Um, you can see that's 80, 85. So 84 is between 80 and 85. Let me zoom in on that. And as with any exercise on the CRP, I'm going to press down on the CRP just to make sure that everything's lined up. And we can see that for a distance of 84 miles, we would take 35, 36 minutes. So the time to cover 84 nautical miles is 36 minutes. And that's all there is to it.